Welcome back to the channel everybody. Thank you very much for tuning in. This is Danny. That's Ricky. And today we are taking a deep dive into supermarket donuts. Super. And what have we got here then, Ricky? We have a selection of ringed and filled donuts from a large selection of supermarkets around the UK. We're just looking to find out which is the best. I'm trying to find out which one's the best. Before the likes of Dunkin' Donuts and Krispy Kremes and even Greg's now are in the game, we used to have to always rely upon the supermarkets for our donuts, didn't we? Yeah, so, office parties and stuff like exactly. that. Exactly. Unbuckle that belt, Danny. To be fair, it's already on Max. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into this. Thumbs at the ready, it's Red Review. The donuts that we're testing today are from Sainsbury's, Tesco, Asda, Morrison's and Lidl. I think that's most bases covered. It's all the it? top supermarkets, yes. mate. Yeah. We're gonna start with ring donuts. Where do you want to start? Lidl, mate. Lidl. Lidl. Okie doke. Lidl. Lidl are a little bit different in the way that they do their things because a lot of the supermarkets, as I'm sure you know, you have to buy these in packs of five or packs yeah, of 12 yeah. or whatever. Lidl is a bit more deli style. Yes, yeah, 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 individual pieces. Now, the first thing I will say about this donut, <laughs> it seems to, it seems like it's, yeah, it seems like it's a, sort of a, a wish.com type donut, isn't it? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's pretty yeah, small, it's isn't it? It's quite small. Yeah. Donut. Sprinkles look a little bit shorter than they should they do, be. Yeah, they let's, let's give it a chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The proof of the pudding is in the eating. That's what it they say. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little. Going in. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I don't think I'd know, know it was a donut. It it's so up. bready, didn't it's it? So it's so chewy. Mm. It's really mm. chewy. The topping's great. The sprinkles are nice. You know what I mean? The icing sugar. But the consistency of the donut, yeah. It's kind of bready, like tough bread, yeah. rather than a donut. Not a great donut for me. That is not. <laughs> Sainsbury's is up Ooh. next. See, this looks fatter and it fluffier. Does. And... It looks like a much better donut, doesn't it? Yeah. It's better all round. Even the sprinkles look more appetising. They do. They do. I can already Soft. tell. You know what I mean? That last one you were struggling, weren't you? I was. To be honest. Sainsbury's. Different. Differently all together, mm. isn't it? Mm. Really like. Really fluffy. It makes the whole thing mm. much more tasty. That last one, to be honest, I'd have had to have dipped it in something to it eat felt it. Like a chore, didn't it? Like, yeah, yeah. This is next level. Mm. Nice and light. Tesco. Tesco. Another four pack of white glazed. Sort of multicolored sprinkles this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe slightly less sprinkles. Yeah. Maybe not. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Okay. Mm. Going in, Tesco's ring donut. It kind of tastes vanilla -y. Yeah. You like the frosting on it. It does It does have a different taste. It's nice and light. It was always going to be a difficult task to choose these. I'm they're more different than I thought, they, though. Yeah. It, but before I did it, I thought they're just going to be just the same. a donut is a donut. But no, no. no. Next up, Morrison's donut. We have a pink frosting, and yes, it does mm. look more fried it's than more the fried, food, doesn't it? I don't know. Nothing's letting me down quite like the first donut that we had. Mm. You see, for me, you can't taste the, the donut product. I'm with you. And I was going to say, it's a very similar thing. The yeah. actual donut itself, very bland and very plain. Yeah. So all you're getting is that sweetness. And there isn't a lot of flavour. Like the last one had a bit of vanilla -y, so It's just a little bit meh. Boring tasting, isn't it? Mm. Last up for the ring donuts is Asda's offering. A lot of sprinkles. <laughs> yes. Can we have that one, Ricky? We can have that one. that one. Yes. Now you take a look at that. There's a lot of sprinkles, lot of sprinkles on there. Sprinkles. Going into the Asda donut. For me, the icing is kind of dry. Yeah. Yeah. It seems to crack more than the other donuts. A bit greasy as well. Like that sits the top of your mouth a little bit. Yeah. There was more differences in those donuts than I really thought Me, there was going to be. When I was looking at them beforehand, I thought we were going to struggle here differentiating them. Yeah. But as we yeah. got into them, there's, there's clear winners and losers. There is. Dan, what was your worst donut? Uh, I think we'll probably agree on this. Uh, I, I think we're going to. Lidl? Lidl. Yeah. Chopping into that, it was hard. We, we purchased these products. Struggling. You know, within an hour of each other. It was just a terrible donut. It was it like, really it was more like a flotation device for a small shrew <laughs> rather than an actual donut. It was really tough, yeah. really yeah, ready. Just like a rubber ring. Yeah, <laughs> really not, really not a good donut. No. Avoid Lidl for your rings. Yeah. Yes. To do other stuff. I, I was expecting a lot from Lidl. I, I like Lidl. I think their their products are usually good quality. What was your favourite, Danny? There's two aspects to the donuts, which is the donut itself and the frosting. Correct. The donut itself, for me, stand out was Sainsbury's because okay. it was light and fluffy. Yeah. But 
I like the frosting on the Tesco one because it had a little certain something. I personally enjoyed the Tesco donut. I think did you? from a donut point of view, it had the vanilla taste that I wanted from a yeah, donut, yeah, yeah. which did actually separate it from the ice. And some of them were just sort of merging into one. Yeah, but yeah. for me, the Tesco donut stood strong. Because I can't decide between Tesco and Sainsbury's. I'm gonna go with Tesco as well because I'm 50-50, you're full on Tesco. I think that's fair. So we've decided the best ring donut is Tesco. Well done, Tesco. Now it's time for the filled donuts. Yes. Okay, round two. Sure. The filled donut. The donut with soul. <laughs> we'll go in the same order. I think that's a good little, idea. Little first. little first. Now this donut is quite interesting. Is it the redemption donut, Ricky? <laughs> yeah, it's the redemption donut. So this is a hazelnut chocolate donut. Equal, be fair, equal, but it's difficult, isn't it? Yeah. yeah equal amount oh of my goodness. goodness! I mean, to be fair, you did great. You did a great a, job. Feels different feels already, good, doesn't, doesn't it? it? Yeah. That's really good. That stands up to many donuts. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's high price, I mean. Exactly. That is a fabulous donut. The hazelnut taste is really very, good. very prominent. Mm. Nice. That batter is really good. Loads of chocolate in this. Well. Loads. So Sainsbury's offering is a raspberry jam filled donut. Mm. Exciting times. Plain old sugar that's on these donuts. I know sometimes they come with. Oh, you know what, mate? Do that. That's better, I think. Isn't it, it is better. But yeah, what yeah. is important to note here? I just don't think there's a whole lot of filling inside this donut. So sugary. Yeah. So sugary. It tastes almost battered. It can taste the friedness of yeah. the donut. It kind of tastes very fresh. This is quite a dangerous episode. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, heart attack. <laughs> it's tasty. That raspberry jam is good. Oh, I don't know how I feel about I don't it. Either. I don't know if it's too indulgent. I don't know if it's too fried and too sugary. There's only one way to find out. Let's let's see how the others Move are, on. mate. Next up is Tesco. Tesco. Oh, there's grief. Well, these look kind of different. They filled them from the top there, which I guess gives you more even distribution. But this is very smooth. It's very uniform, very isn't uniform. it? Very uniform. Very yes. uniform. Yes. If I do that, we should be equal then. A splodge, splodge yeah. of jam. Quite That's sharp, cool. that jam as well. Whereas that jam is sharp. Sharp, but because there's so much sugar going on, it's, yes. I, I think the balance is good. I like, like I said, that last one tastes so fried and so much yeah. sugar, and the jam was so sweet as well. Because that's a bit sharper, that jam. It's a good turn up. It's going to be hard to beat, I think. Wowzers, trousers. Moving on. Morrison said backwards is snozzy rum. <laughs> Well, these donuts are half the price as yeah. the other donuts. Which is... That's essentially a 10 pence donut right there. Icing sugar on these as opposed to the granulated sugar on the others, which is interesting. One thing I can tell already, that is a weak jam. Mate though, it's got a lot of strawberryness coming through. I have a fundamental problem with this donut. The powdered sugar. Not the powdered sugar. It feels like I can taste all of the oil in the mm. donut. You don't realise how, how bad a cake is for you until you see it made and how much stuff is <laughs> oh, in the it. Butter Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. I feel like I can taste that. And that mm. for me has got to be a sign of a bad donut. You know I what? don't like this donut. I'm like, I'm meh. I like the taste of the jam. I really like that the strawberry came through. Okay. Well, that's that's my positive. I'm not too keen on the powdered sugar versus the granulated sugar. Yeah. And you're right, it just tastes a little bit fatty. It tastes a bit fatty. Last up. As the again, just jam, nondescript. That's an interesting looking donut. It's yeah. quite fat, quite fat, it's quite fat. It feels quite heavy. Ooh. Oh, goodness of, gracious! Lot of jam, but it's quite small, yes. isn't it? Yeah, it's wet to the touch. It kind of does, doesn't it? There's a lot of there's a lot of jam in there that might be doing that. For me, the donut itself is too dense. Yeah, and the jam's like it's too much of a the same product. Yeah. As, as daft as that sounds, I feel like the donut is becoming the jam and vice versa. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's quite dense and yeah. the jam hasn't really got flavour to it. It's just a sweet, gooey thing that's in there in this sort of fatty, hard, bready case. Lame donut. Get rid of that. <laughs> Thank you. <Ugh. laughs> There's a lot of donuts. Far too many donuts. I, would, I wouldn't advise you doing that all in a one go. I wouldn't advise it. We do it so you don't have to. Exactly. How do we feel? 
Worst donut filled, Danny. Mate, the worst one. What do you think? Maybe the Morrison's one. What are you thinking? Well, about? I think the Morrison's one. I thought it was a terrible donut. Well, let me down about the Morrison's donut. I just felt like it tasted way too fatty. I felt like I was aware of everything that I was putting into my body, and I shouldn't be at the point of eating it. No. You're supposed to regret no. it after. <laughs> and I was regretting it at the start. You, you want to enjoy it, don't you? Yeah. There was a plus for me. The strawberry jam tasted strawberries. Yeah. And, and then maybe the other ones, I couldn't really taste what fruit it was meant to be. Yeah. I think that the little, the little donut always kind of tasted premium, didn't it? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Went, sort of on a higher it, level it, kind it of was, thing. It was nice. It's kind yeah. of hard to put them in the same category because it was so yeah. different. I'm, I'm just thinking, was it stand out enough? I don't know. You don't know. I don't, I don't know. I would definitely buy it again. Um, and there's another one on the list that I'd buy. Which one's that? <laughs> well, Tesco, me. Tesco. The jam was sharp and yeah. it gave such a contrast to the actual donut, which which just wasn't present in any other one. Yeah, 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 so, absolutely. I think yes. the, the Sainsbury's was so sugary and fried, and it was just, when you're eating it, it was almost like you were just eating like deep fried jam. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It, really it, not it, good. It, uh, whereas the Tesco one, because it had the sugary outside, fluffy donut, sharpish jam in the middle, yep. the balance was perfect. Just on point, wasn't it? And it looked, it looked nice. It yeah. looked nice and pert. The results are in. Buy your donuts from Tesco. They were best for the ring and best for the food. They certainly were. Yes. Nice one, Tesco. Thank you very much for watching this episode. We really appreciate it. Please leave us some comments below. Let us know where you get your donuts from. What are your favourites? Yeah, if you've got any ideas for an episode as well, we're actually open to listening to you. We're always active in the comments. Yep. If you ask us a question or you want to, you want to suggest something, by all means, do it. Drop us a subscription and a like. We appreciate your time and we will catch you on the next one. Nice one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.